What's up guys, it's your boy Jamaica here, coming at you with another deck tech. This is my uh, five color control deck, aka Domain, it's the old school kids would call it. Um, you know, as like a, as an admin to a page of magic.com, we do all the uh, archetype uh, selection thing and on the site, actually manually, actually it's all done manually, it's a very tedious process, but you know. It's, only, it's the only way to really do it accurately, or as accurately as we can. So I look at a ton of lists a day, actually. So um, there's a, bu a bunch of like domain lists I've been running around. A lot of them have like Hondans and stuff like that. It has like, there's just like five color control decks based around like uh, Cultivate and uh, Ramit Growth here. So I wanted to build my own. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot. And I've come to this list, and I think it's a lot different than, from the other ones in the sense that like, Basically, it's a three color deck, splash two colors. <laughs> so, um, but like I said, the uh, linchpin of the deck is cultivate and rampant growth. And from there, you can use like domain spells and even converge spells, which is like Valver Zendikar's version of domain, but a little different. So, uh, let's talk about the mana base, which is the most important part. Uh, 24 lands, um, I think it's like eight forests, six islands down here, three mountains, three vivid crags, a swamp of plains, and a cascading cataracts. Uh, it's, this is like the most challenging mana base I've probably ever made. Um, basically, I know I want green first. Um, it's weird. So it splits like like eighteen green mana spells or eighteen green symbols. Like, look, I, I don't, why not? I'll try to look. see. It's like uh, fourteen green, uh, twelve blue, and eight red, and then no black or white spells in the main deck. So it's a really interesting mana base. Um, I didn't like Frank Carson or anything like that. So. I just know I wanted green early, and I wanted red, like, you know, around turn three to four or something like that. So the Vivicrad counts as, like, all the sources. You want that kind of on the first turn? I would say, like, kind of, but not really. Um, it's actually best on the first turn because it just makes extra green mana. So technically I have, like, uh, like 11 sources of green mana for the first, like, turn. Or the second turn. I don't do anything in turn one, so. that uh, The single planes and swamp here are just to, like, kind of, like, enable uh, domain cards. But the Casting Cataracts is interesting because it actually adds 5 mana of any color, so, um, in any combination. So if I wanted, like, play a bunch of blue spells, play a bunch of black spells, but I only have, like, like red and green mana or something like that. So I could, like, do that with the Casting Cataracts. So it's kind of like a weird filter card, but you can't play too many of these. Because you really just actually physically need a Plains or a Swamp for some of the cards. So you can only play, like, about, like, 4 Rainbow Lands. And I had, like, Grand Coliseum for a while, because these run out eventually, the Crags. Vivids. But uh, I felt like the life loss was too hard to take against like aggro decks. So um, I, I steered away from that. But I, I think the mana is okay. As long as you have like a forest or a crag to start your game, you're pretty good. So that's why it's mostly forest here. Rampant Growth and Cultivate are like the two best cards. So you don't you don't really cut these post sideboard. Sideboarding is actually kind of difficult. I found it a little difficult. There's so many cards I would kind of want in the payoffs, but. I think like the one thing I've always come back to is that I never cut cultivate and I never cut rampant growth. You just kind of need the early fixing to just kind of make your deck go. Like rampant growth really enables the best starts. Actually, you get a turn three that's like really strong against a lot of matchups. So, and cultivate kind of just like tutors for the other two lands you don't have when you're um, on the battlefield yet. So it's pretty good. And there are a couple of mana sinks. So like all this ramp doesn't like uh, go to waste. Uh, so payoffs. What are the payoffs, really? So first is Worldly Council. Uh, when you get the five, one of each land, Worldly Council is just super impulse. It's pretty awesome. It helps you like just like dig for your late game. Uh, Vase of Action is pretty much like a good mana leak, or or a really hard to a really uh, hard to work for mana leak, or just a super counter spell. Just basically counter spell uh, for the end game, which is pretty strong. These main opponent, assuming your opponent isn't like ramping themselves, and the Radiant Flames I think is one of the strongest like um, sweepers so far in this format. Um, it's kind of like dumps on red deck and just like other small, small to medium sized aggro decks. Uh, Converge is pretty great. Um, just you don't need like like a, a, the planes are small for this. You just need like three you know colored sources. So that's the difference between Converge and Domain here, which Domain wants any basic land and. Radiant Flames doesn't care where the mana comes from as long as you get three different colors. So, but I've been really happy with like just like jamming four Radiant Flames main deck. 
uh, end game. What is the end game? So speaking of converge, we have Woodland Wanderer, which uh, really doesn't care about, like I said, what kind of lands you have, as long as you have the mana for it. Uh, can get enabled by turn three Raven Growth, which is really strong. It really just beats up a lot of decks. This has a lot of different techs. I mean, Vigilance Trample is really strong. And you just, it eats your opponent's life total in chunks of six, so it's pretty good. Uh, funny thing about the, um, the main cards is that you're only limited to, like, five colors. You know, there's five basic lands on the format. So Tribal Flames is also another set of removal spell that's really good early and, like, kills, dumps your opponent late. But unfortunately, I can only kill things that I only have five colors or less. Any more than I can't. It's really hard to deal with, actually. So the Wizard Wanderer kind of, like, Beats up on like desecration demons, I guess, but not really. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Oh, excuse me, interesting, but Tribal Flames does a good job of just doming your opponent or just like spinning small random creatures. Uh, the Mara Conjecture is a card I've been trying to work on a lot. And I think this is actually a really good deck for the Conjecture. You don't have a ton of instants for uh, the first uh, part of the saga, but the second part you have a ton of good sorceries like Tribal Flames. And then once you get the third part off, let's say you bounce back to Tribal Flames, you're just hitting it for 10 there, and then maybe you're Digging for like looking at 10 cards of Worldly Council, you're drawing two of that, looking at 10. So that's pretty strong for the most part. I've actually had a lot of fun playing this. I've actually just beat people just off of Conjecture and not really off of like a Wander, but Wander actually does most of the heavy lifting. But conjecture is also a good sort of like end game. Speaking of end game, is Soul More. All those dreams is a really good X spell for like your mana ramp here. It's good with Conjecture too. So if you have like the third, um, Part of the saga here, and you have a wild stream. It's basically, just come super restock, and you can get back your conjecture and do it all over again. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Allied strategies just says like five, draw five cards. Um, I've, I've kind of struggled to see how many cards of this I want. I've come to number two because I tend to cut them a lot in the sideboarding, but they're just kind of slow. But it's really good just to refill your hand. Uh, that's not wild streams that they they do the same thing in different senses. Uh, so when you have all the colors, you want some kind of sweet one of. So I have Legacy Weapon here, which is the super slow card. But, you know, when it gets going, you just kind of start nuking opponents' lands, things like that. It's pretty, pretty fun. And all of Malara, it's kind of like my Planeswalker. <laughs> it is sense. It kind of does a little bit of everything. Gains life. It'll just do some cards. Pop some, some small creatures. Or just to kind of finish this off the game. The sense of the uh, red and green part. So uh, it, it's just a little fun of. I've also, like, dabbled with, like, Edge Monstrosity, which is a 5-5 five, five, because of 10-10 that draws you three cards. Things like that. Like, maybe extra random dudes, but... I, I like Obelisk. I, I like the idea of Obelisk. I don't think I've actually, like, played it a lot, but every time I play it, my opponent somehow concedes, so I never get to actually activate the ability. So, <laughs> I think it could be fine. Uh, the sideboard's a lot of mishmash of those random cards. Just, like, since, since you're playing five colors, not really, but since you are, you can kind of just, like, get away with, like, playing some high-impact cards. Like, I, I like Banishing Light a lot. Um, I actually wanted to play Utter End, but I think, like, relying on a black and white spell is really hard. So Banishing Light kind of gets a nod here. Doesn't really work well with like, Conjecture, things like that. But uh, it, it just, like, kind of just, like, kills something, you know? Uh, Naturalize, kind of a disenchant effect. The Space and Wave is kind of a Wrath against tokens. or just, like, a small mini Wrath. Uh, Star Storm is a much bigger Wrath. Like, I can kill those creatures that have, like, six toughness or more. Um... I just wanted like some more high impact X spells here. Uh, negates are good when um, Radiant Flames is basically bad, except for like the red deck. I'll I'll board in a couple for red deck. Uh, and slaughter games, you know, I have black. You know, it just kind of like holds a lot of different decks that are relying on a single card, like Jeskai Ascendancy, Demonic Rising, things like that. Um, it's just it's just a really strong card right now. If I'm playing, if I can somehow get my access to black, I will play this card, black and red rather. So I'm gonna play in the tournament today. Um, no leagues today, so we'll get at least four rounds. Uh, and if I do better, maybe a couple more. Maybe a couple in the top eight. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm excited to play this deck. I've actually been practicing a lot, and I've really like tuned the numbers to where I kind of like this deck. So, uh, I'll see you in round one. Alright, got a round one. The uh, Paint Triple Domain control deck. Uh, yeah, I can keep this, you know, green mana plus rampant growth, always good. And I got a little, I even have a black source, so that's really good, so I can just find the mountain immediately. The order always goes like island, forest island mountain, that's the, the lands you want to start with.
I try to spread out my land drops like separately first, so I I get all the colors that I can because things like Worldly Council or a piece of action really wanted um, the lands to be out. If my opponent's a green deck, I definitely want a red source for like if I draw a Tribal Flames or a uh, Radiant Flame, any flames really. Wanderer is pretty good, actually. Um, turn three Wanderer is always strong. I, I do have the counter spell here, but I can just like hold this up. This is really hard with their green decks to kind of like with. I always did splash for white, so I might be playing like glare. Glare would be really annoying. Market festival. Okay, so maybe they're a ramp deck too. Ooh, market festival forest then armor ups is pretty good. That's like an essential two colors. I like it. I kind of want to like not have the same transform at the same time I don't think it's that worrisome like I could just like wild the streams back to rampant growth it seems a, it seems a little loose but I kind of do need white eventually Just thinking about that for a second. No, I think I'm good. I could like, I'll just let it transform and see what happens. I can just counter whatever this thing produces, right? And then he doesn't get the digging, the digging part too. I think which is stronger against me versus just like the reduction part. I have a slightly better mana leak and evasive action right now, and if it doesn't do anything, I just counsel. I actually really like a second blues at some point. This makes a lot of mana too, by the way. I really want to kill his Arbor Elf at some point. He's just gonna raw dog his Artisan. It does cost eight. It's a turn four, <laughs> nine, ten, nine. That's a pretty. That's pretty strong. I don't want to end this game pretty soon. I probably need to look for a. Uh, oh, Tropical Flames is pretty good. I kind of want to look for a Radiant Flames though. Let me do this first. All right, perfect. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. The next turn, my phone is dead. If they don't do anything, my phone just dies. I have the Tribal Flames for four here. Dome. Awesome, awesome. Um, so I guess it's just like a green white ramp deck. Um Asian Light Speed is not bad. Radiant Flames is really good against like the small creatures. I guess I like Starstorm too. I'm the kind of like the bigger stuff. I guess like later. Almost I don't know how good this will be, but it seems it might be okay. I just cut the obelisk for now. Um I can just like shave some of the texture. Cut this like Evasive action seems okay, but if they're ramping too, I think eventually they'll be able to pay for things. So I might like cut one. I might just shave one for now. And one more card. I'd like to deal with the board mostly. Like I said, I kind of like Legacy Weapon. I don't know how much it'll like interact with me. Maybe it'll need all these Star Storms. Play one Star Storm. I don't know. I think Star Storm can actually be really good matchup. I'll kind of wild streams. That's fine. 
usually I waffle between like shaving like wild streams, ally strategies, conjecture. Um, I think it's probably should cut an uh, ally strategy. It's it's kind of like the weakest card. Um, kind of rough. No green mana. So I'm gonna mulligan the equally rough as I have only one land. So getting, uh, I'm gonna keep this. I can't really go to five here. Or maybe I'll just rip a red or a green source somewhere. This is the kind of the downside of the deck sometimes, where <laughs> just like you just don't draw a forest. This is why I thought Starstorm would be really good. It's all these like tiny elves. I just draw like a red. I'm like not or a green or a forest. That's not bad. I have like a, a couple turns. Of... That doesn't really do much. <laughs> that doesn't do much right now, but it's, it's a land drop. <laughs> this is when it's the worst land. This land can be so bad early, but so great late. I still want to get rid of these Arbor Elves, because it looks like their deck is really based around Arbor Elf from Argon Festival. It makes a ton of mana. I'll just rip a red source right here, that'd be so cool. Uh, this is when the deck looks embarrassing. When the, when the thing goes right, it looks so bad. <laughs> like it's It's like one of the worst looking decks possible. Okay, sick. <laughs> That's a pretty good turn four. Great, all blue. <laughs> all blue sources, I love it. All right, all right. Let's just, uh, let's figure that out again. Actually, might want the, might want naturalize for Nar Margaret Festival. I didn't think about it. it. Doesn't seem too terrible. I mean, Banish Knight kind of does the same thing, kind of. Maybe th maybe this might be too slow. Maybe like that might be too. Slow. Kind of get a little lower. <sighs> this gonna be so great if I had a forest. Um. I'm gonna keep. I think this is a little risky, but I think I'm gonna keep this. It's just like good enough where I have a green source. If I just need a second land, I'm off the races. It's it's pretty sketch. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm feeling I'm feeling a little unlucky right now. <laughs> they don't have a one drop either, so that's pretty good. Okay. All right. I just I I kept I put it all in red here and oh perfect okay that just like changed the game there um I'm actually gonna get a forest start I mean, now we're off to the races we're super off to the races all I needed was that one one land that's the, I don't do not try this at home by the way do not try that at home <laughs> that was just like a super sketch keep that I did just did. I gotta cultivate. Perfectly okay by me. I'd love to make a land drop here. So I can cultivate and ramp growth in the same turn. That's perfect. Um I probably need like a I, I definitely need a forest and I need I'll just get one of the off color cards. I want a mountain, honestly. I, I want to cast a star storm at some point. 
Or I have one more charge here. So maybe get like mountain, like plain, mountain, plains, yeah. Because plains, I have like random white cards in my deck right now. And then. Oh, I already did that. Alright, duh. Okay, never mind. I can't, I, I can't do math right now. I, I've been just sleeping all day. My brain's like kind of shot. <laughs> They look, they're not looking for much here. They haven't really done much with the Dustwatch Recruiter. I'm going to kill it next turn. It's probably just the Radiant Flames. Like, it's it's the only sort of ramp card they have right now, and it's going to like start drawing cards soon. Let's say, uh, unless they like play like a one drop here. I don't think they will. I think I want this to transform for them. They whip, did they whiff on that, by the way? Did they find something? I, I just wasn't paying attention for a second. They found another Dust Watch recruiter. Okay. So this is a good Radiant Flames turn. Two, alright. You gotta be careful about how you tap your mana sometimes. Or. Actually, I can do two things. I can cultivate and, yeah. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> All right, stop, stop, stop. I always have to be careful how I tap. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I don't need to rate things with three, but it's just like just good to do it like mechanically, right? So now the worldly council is kind of like gassing back up a little bit. I have I have my lands are ready. My lands are just definitely ready here. Old Pharaoh, I think it's Spanish light. <laughs> like I said, anything with five power or greater, it's hard to deal with. So I and guys, now I have a win condition on the board. Yeah, anything with power, uh, toughness five greater is really hard to deal with. Guy's revenge. I'll trade. I'll totally trade with this. It's one of. The, it's kind of hard to deal with, honestly. Unless I draw a star storm. And I have redundancy in my deck in the sense that, like, I can kind of dig for spells. But... Of course, I had a star storm. I'm gonna just get the allied strategies and draw five cards. Five cards. Really draw nothing. But the Star Storm is really good. Star Storm is basically just wrath at this point. They have a second um, Guy's Revenge. I guess. Do, do they really have a second Guy's Revenge? Yeah, at least they have the Star Storm. Wolfbriar kicked three times. Ooh, conjecture. Um, R star for four. I'm always like clicking. If I have extra lands, I always like, click the extra lands. Those piles for four and then play another wanderer and now i could like have like i could get another star storm here or or worldly council i get the ally strategies for the sorcery part I'm at the point where I'm playing like two cards a turn, and they're kind of well. I guess they'll play like two cards, but like I guess they have all their mana for like their big stuff. Or maybe it's just all mana ramp. I gotta hit the sweet spot of like cards to um 
uh, big stuff. Yeah, this is all just ramp spells. This conjecture is just gonna blow my boat out of the water here. Okay. Cataracts, okay. Embarrassing cataracts from before. Tap it. And I get Starstorm first, because it's just an instant. Wipe the board again. I piped the board like three times already. Feels great. All right, next. Okay, so the next lore saga is gonna get the uh, allied strategies. And I'll just draw. I mean, I'll just immediately draw five cards again. Meanwhile, my opponent's like kind of top decking at this point. Do I have a weirding or wild wow, streams? I might no. I'll probably find one with the uh, ally strategy. Another guy's revenge is interesting. Um, I probably have to trade again. Yeah, I think we're just gonna trade. This is fine. I'll find another threat with the uh, the second part. I drew a counter spell, which is okay if um. If I um, I don't find a radiant place. Okay, this is domes for ten. I'll just pull more lands out of my deck. Kind of optimize my draw as much as I can. Hopefully, I draw something good off the uh, off my third turn. Another random good card, <laughs> like a world accounts would be very nice to draw, or like a wild streams would be really good. I don't think I could die this turn. Fine, they're just loading up their forest. I kind of could have countered that, but I don't think it matters. Probably better to counter this, um... Whatever they're about to play right now. <laughs> just a lot of mana. That's, that's fine. Like, it doesn't really matter to counter. The only thing is I'm, like, really worried about are, like, artists in a Kozilek. I can't really, like, beat the trigger. Oh, I don't... Okay, it's true Radiant Flame. Um, I guess just dome them for 10. <laughs> radiant Flame is not really good on the, uh, on the copy. The copy, the copied spell doesn't. So I kind of, I kind of fizzled a set for a second. Let's we'll see what they have here. I could easily die to something crazy. This is a. Okay, this is an artisan. He's gonna get back the uh, guy's revenge. I, I can at least counter the artisan. Okay, this is gonna get a little rough. I mean, I'm gonna need a top deck here. Actually, could have paid for that. I think. No, he could. He only made like three man of it. Okay, I need to top deck something. Uh, does this work? I don't think this works. <laughs> Let me just double check. No, I can't. All right. <laughs> All right. GG's. <laughs>